Hi, I'm Lucy Alexander with the AICHE Institute for Sustainability here at the 2015 Carbon Management Technology Conferences with Richard Adamson, who is President of Carbon Management Canada. So Richard, can you tell our viewers how CMC Institutes is prepared to face the grand challenges facing CCUS implementation? Yes, uh, Carbon Management Canada is focusing, of course, on solutions that are appropriate to the Canadian context. And um, while uh, capture off of coal is important, capture off of many other industrial sources is, is very important in Canada. So we tend to look more at intermediate scale industrial sources and solutions associated with that. To that end, CMC is establishing two institutes. Uh, the first one is uh, called the Containment and Monitoring Institute. Um, this is really focusing on the subsurface storage of CO2, either through uh, deep sequestration or through enhanced soil recovery and in fact we're developing other shallow storage methods for, for storing large quantities of CO2. Um, but its primary focus is on measurement, monitoring and verification, uh, de detection and movement of fluids in the subsurface and figuring out how to uh, monitor and, uh, and mitigate those, those issues. Uh, in particular we have a field research station about three quarters of a section of land close to Calgary uh, where we can do small quantity, inject small quantities of CO2 at 300 and 500 meter depths. Uh, essentially simulating what would happen if a deep storage site lost containment and a small amount of CO2 percolated up to some of these shallower areas. Because at those depths, uh, the CO2 would change phase and become a gas phase. This is the zone where we're likely to have the best uh, early detection methods for detecting CO2 before it or brines or other contaminants might get into, sh into the shallower aquifers. So we're, we're uh, able to, to quantify the, the uh, sensitivities of a wide range of different types of technologies and we're working with a number of uh, startup companies and, and academic research groups on developing new technologies uh, in that area. Uh, our second institute uh, associated with the University of British Columbia and with NORAM Engineering and BC Research is focused on uh, pilot and scale up of uh, industrial processes for capture and conversion of CO2 to other products. So the, the idea is uh, aimed to, to identify technologies that can be developed and manufactured in a modular format for intermediate scale industrial uh, types of CO2 sources. Um, so that they can, the cost can be driven down rather than going for massive size, going for replicable modules that can be uh, produced and manufactured off-site and then, and then brought to the, to the facility. Uh, so our teams are working on a wide range of types of technologies, including uh, sorbents, uh, membranes, uh, some solvents, the phase change solvents, and other approaches, as well as looking at ways of converting the CO2 to other types of products where you don't have access to storage. So, for example, mineralization of CO2 in mine tailings, uh, mineralization associated with cement production, uh, and uh, catalytic conversion to alcohols and other fuels, and other types of chemical feedstocks. So we've got a range of research projects there, but all aimed at how do we move to scale it up to the next level. So in addition to the test and commercialization center that I talked about earlier, uh, which can take things from bench scale up to about a ton or two tons a day of CO2, we have another facility that we're working with industry to put together in Calgary uh, that's aimed at more like a five ton up to possibly as high as 25 ton per day capture range. So we cover the spectrum from small scale bench, uh, sort of beaker level, all the way up to 25 ton a day capture. Oh, well, that sounds like the institute, the institutes are doing great work, and right. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Lucy.